bacteriophage, or phage for short, is a virus that only attacks bacteria and is harmless to humans, animals, and plants. Like other types of viruses, phages vary a lot in their shape and genetic material. The head tail phage is especially unique. Their head is an icosahedron, which is a dice with 20 faces and 30 edges, and the body is called a tail with a little needle-like structure at the bottom that injects their DNA into host bacteria. They have legs made out of fiber that they can use to move around. Bacteriophages were discovered by Frederick W. Tour in Great Britain in 1915 and Felix D. Harrell in France in 1917 respectively. The word phage came from the Greek word phagin, which means to devour. DRL named the virus bacteriophage, which means bacteria eater. They can have two life cycles, lytic and lysogenic. In the lytic cycle, they first inject their genetic material into the host, which creates new parts for more phages. Then they produce an enzyme called endolysin that bursts is open to bacteria. Lysogenic cycle, the bacterium isn't killed immediately, but instead, the genetic material of the host combines with the phages' original one. Under certain conditions, the phages will switch to the lytic cycle and release new phages. Scientists are still unsure what causes happen though. Bacterial phages can be injected or ingested into a patient's body, where it will look for its host bacteria family and attack it. Because phages are harmless to everything other than their corresponding host, they can be very safe and reliable in treating bacterial infections with little or even no side effects. Additionally, since phages do multiply by themselves, only a few doses are needed. The practice of treating bacterial diseases with phages is called phage therapy. When phages were first discovered in the 19th century, phage therapy was widely studied. But when antibiotics came into the light, it was largely abandoned, especially by English-speaking countries. However, with the emergence of more and more superbugs, phage therapy has received renewed attention. Now, what is a superbug? Superbugs are bacteria that have become resistant to the antibiotics that should kill them. There are many different species of superbugs, and all of them are hard to treat and dangerous. But phages can change that. Because phages are living things that can evolve and quickly develop, they are great at killing other living and evolving things like superbugs. Even when the superbug develops resistant to phages, this can be solved by using phages and antibiotics together, as being immune to even just a few species of phages means giving up the resistance to antibiotics. By using phages, we can overcome superbugs, which will greatly reduce the chances of bacterial epidemics and make things easier for us during virus epidemics like COVID-19, for example. In summary, bacterial phages can save lives by killing superbugs and, compared to antibiotics, it's significantly safer and better tolerated, requires fewer administrations, and is cheaper in cost. In addition, it makes it harder for secondary infections to occur after a virus attack. With the increasing progress of phage research and new technologies, like the Nobel Prize awarded technique Phage Display, many previously impossible tasks are no longer fleeting dreams. Who knows? Perhaps we'll even see a doctor prescribe you phages in the near future.